Hi YouTube, how are you? I know you're so lucky, three days in a row that I'm doing a video. I mean, I bet you just think your luck's come in. Look, Paige is trying to get in on the action. We've got a weepy eye again. But she kind of says, yes, mum, I want to be on it, but I don't. Hi and welcome. My name's Jan Silver. And as you know, I've been video logging my journey to and beyond the gastric bypass. Only popping on today to fill you in on my... Um, I went to see my dietitian today, uh, Lisa Lovell, which was good. It went really, really well. Harry and I were actually babysitting Willow this morning, our granddaughter. So we had to take her with us. And she was an absolute angel, of course. And yeah, it went really well. It was it was it was actually quite a quick appointment. She said um, she wanted to know how I was. And I told her straight away I was really happy with where I was, what weight I was, that I wasn't trying to lose any more. Um, and she said that was a really good thing. I don't think many people actually get to that point where they're OK where they are. And I'm certainly not a skinny mini. I'm certainly still carrying around a bit of um, chub and lard. But, you know, that's me and I'm OK with it. <coughs> um, she weighed me. I'm actually one kg, <coughs> which is two and a half pound down from what I was in May. But I'd said to her I plateaued or not plateaued. I've been maintaining for, for this real, really for this whole year and that I was okay with how I was doing it, what I was doing, how I was living my life, et cetera, et cetera. And yeah, it went, it went really, really nicely. Um, and she would like to sign me off. She needs to get the surgeons to do that. Um, but to do that, she needs my full blood count, which includes zinc and copper. She'd like to know what's going on there and with uh, my vitamin B12, even though I have the injection. So I've just applied to go and have a full blood test with my doctor. And then once I give uh, Lisa, my dietitian, the notes on that, she said she can sign me off. However, she did mention a bit about, um, you know, if there are any problems to do with uh, malabsorbency. She, she didn't say that word. She said to do with your supplements that will come further down the line, which I, I totally get. Um, Howie and I, <coughs> we're religious in what we do with our medications. So vitamins I take every single morning with my porridge, as you know, and blah, blah, blah. So yeah, I don't, I don't foresee an issue in the, in the respect that I'm not gonna take any vitamins or I'm gonna be lacking in something I shouldn't be because I'm taking everything I should. And the doctor just told me I don't need the iron, so I'm not taking that now. And if I'm checked regularly with my blood tests, they'll know if I need to up a certain supplement. Um, but she did make me laugh. I don't know where it is now, I've put it aside. Um, <clears throat> but she did say at one point, oh, I, um, I'm not promoting this, by the way, but I would like to just tell you about this. Oh, this, um, what was it, Harry? It's a supplement, wasn't it? Yeah. A Barry yeah, Coles yeah. Su supplement or something. Vitamin yeah. supplement. I don't know what I've done with it. Because I, like, I think I might have put it over there on the thingies, but... So I could show people. And I was like, anyway, she got me to taste one of them, which was an, it can be an effervescent drink one or a, um, um, or a tablet. Like I take my AdCal calcium, which is a chewable chalky tablet. Maybe I've put it on the side there, Harry, on the normal side over there. You did have a I thought so. Yeah. And, and it just was really funny because she was like, I'm not being paid to do this and I'm not promoting it. And I was like, Okay, what is it? Yeah, she said, I'm not pushing this, but I'll just give you a couple of things to take home. And I was like, okay. So this is what she was saying. And I think the, the whole thing about it was, it makes it easy to keep living the good life. So what does Barry Cole do that forcible ADCAL and vitamin B12 injections doesn't do? Nothing. What does it cost? 300 pound. What does my force of all add count on that? Uh, yeah, not 300 pounds. So um, she did give me some little samples. So she's clearly being paid to promote it. Otherwise, if, if you're being told to do this, would you? No. Um, anyway, I just thought I'd mention it. It's obviously new on the market. I haven't heard about it. It's called Barricol Bariatrics. And I think you would take, they're huge, by the way. In fact, I'll open one while I'm on here which is quite funny because I won't do the effervescent ones. Oh, chewable tablet, here you go. Now, I think she said that these had to be taken three times a day. If you were to spend £300 a year on this, these tablets had to be chewed three times a day. But at the moment, I'm only having my forcible, which goes straight down, and an Adcal, which I chew, which is okay. But That's actually quite a big tablet, isn't it, to chew? They're actually quite nice. It was quite quite flavourful, but 
yeah, it's not something I'm going to be going to. But it was just quite funny because I didn't expect my dietitian to push um, a product on me, I guess, when I'm going through my doctor to get stuff. But anyway, that being said, I'm really happy. It's a Friday night. I'm celebrating. Not my one kg loss. My son scared me a bit last night and, and texted me before I went to bed and said, Mum, are you awake? I was like, you know what you like? Of course I'm awake, even though I'm not. And he said that he had a, he thought he had a lump back in his leg. And I think I've told you guys before that Mason had had um, what was called an oste osteochondroma, which is a benign tumour, but it grew between his tib and his fib. And at the age of eight, he had that lopped off, hammer and chiseled off his leg. Uh, nice big scar. Then it reappeared. Um, the age of 15, uh, we were in India and he had to come home and have an operation again and have major surgery to remove that tumour again. They thought they'd taken it all away. And then at the age of 18, when we were in Singapore, the bloody thing reappeared again. And at the time, with old Dr. Google being as new as it was, I had Googled that um, and seen some information that each time an osteochondroma um, <clears throat> reoccurs, there's a higher chance of it becoming malignant. So obviously last night, I didn't sleep a bloody wink because I kept thinking, oh my God, if this is back again. Or, uh, and he has been working out a lot. Mason has just got engaged and he's going to marry his beloved of his life next year in, in Texas. So, you know, this couldn't come at a worse a time, but he's really working out because he's going out to, to have engagement photographs and getting married. So he stepped up on his old exercise. <laughs> and I did say to Harry yesterday, you know, God, I just hope when I see him, because he was coming after work tonight, I hope when I see him that this, um, what he thinks is a lump on the other side of his leg <clears throat> is just a muscle sprain or something, because, you know, what he seems to forget is He's 24, a fit as you like, but he's a really big lad. He's solid in every way. But what he seems to forget is where he's had those tumours removed, his leg is weak. You know, it was growing so close to the growth plates. They had to be really careful when they did operate. But anyway, I'm here to say that I don't think there's a, a lump there. It's definitely not a lump there that, like I saw the last three times. So... But he is going to go to the doctors on Wednesday and um, tell them, not go to the doctors actually, in England. They don't like doing that anymore, do they? Have a phone call. So he's having a phone back from a doctor on Wednesday where they will talk to him and he will probably say, I need an x-ray. So hopefully an x-ray will show there's nothing there. If something is there, he'll then get sent for a CT scan and then we shall see. But I'm keeping everything crossed because feeling he's basically come around tonight. So, mum, can you feel my leg? Tell me if you think it feels like it did before. It doesn't. It doesn't feel anything like that. So I can only do this and hope and pray that, yeah, it's nothing. And he's working too hard and he needs to do some low bloody impact exercise. That's what he needs to do. Anyway, I am shattered because I didn't sleep very well last night. And um, I'm certainly going to sleep better tonight. I'm super excited about tomorrow. This is what this is about. I'm practicing for tomorrow night. I'm off to a weight loss surgery meetup tomorrow, organized by quite a few people, I think. Um, my two besties are not gonna be with me. I'll be like that. I'm gonna be a little wallflower in the corner, all quiet, no, I'm not. <laughs> I'm, you know, I'm like, I'm so used to, normally I'm sleeping with Dawn, not sleeping with Dawn, but Dawn and I share a room together and, um, Claire is also my other WLS bestie. I'm like, oh, they're not going to be there. But I'm going to meet a couple of other people beforehand. And I know Jackie's going to be there and Liz. And yeah, it's going to be lovely. I always really enjoy meeting people. So it'll be really, really nice. I've got about three dresses to decide from. I'm taking them with me and I don't know which one I'm going to wear. Howie's actually coming to stay at the hotel with me. He's meeting his old friend Jeff and going to watch the rugby. And then he'll meet, meet me later on in the evening. So hopefully he'll come and meet me and meet a few people from the weight loss community, which will be really nice because I know people have heard about him. Heard about him. Excuse me. It's the only thing with bubbles. It gives me a bit of... Um... Wind. <laughs> Did you say... I said that without my lips moving. It gives me a bit of beauty. <laughs> anyway, guys. I'm going to enjoy my... I've just added gingerbread liqueur. It's a gingerbread gin liqueur to my Prosecco and it's absolutely delicious. So, yeah, I'm going to enjoy that. I'm knackered. 
I'm going to go and have a really early night and get up early because we've got to drive to Bristol, book into the hotel and be da ding I need to be all like this tomorrow yay not oh, I'm fucking tired so yeah I'm okay guys like I said last night was a bit of a but when you become a parent I'm afraid that's what you sign up for for life it doesn't matter how old they are and Mason was like thanks mum I'm like no thanks for not ignoring it Mason any little thing like that I've, even when you're 50 I'd expect you to say mum can I come and yes of course that's what we're here for so anyway I obviously hope you're all really well, healthy and happy. While I'm really, really tired, I'm going to have one drink probably and go... And I will probably talk to you again in the next couple of days because I'm really on this whole YouTubing at the moment, right? Even if I'm talking shit and waffling, but it is what it is. Sorry, not sorry. Thanks for watching, guys. Chat soon. Bye.